Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an Automation Specialist with ESNE. In this video, we are going to go through how to use the new and improved Ethernet IP Address Commissioning Tool. This is a direct replacement to the original BootP DHCP tool that has been used to set up IP addresses for many different products. Rockwell has released an updated address commissioning tool to work with modern communication software such as Factory Talk Links and the Factory Talk Services platform. The interface has a modern look but is similar to the BootP DHCP tool. When we first launch the software, we need to select the interface we are going to use to assign the IP address of the equipment. This should be a hardwired Ethernet connection as that is how the software is designed to function. We need to make sure that our computer is set up in the same network with the proper subnet that we plan to assign our hardware IP address. Once the network interface is selected, it will automatically start browsing the network for DHCP requests. Then we want to plug our device into the computer. If we plug our device into the computer and do not see its MAC address appear, then a helpful tip to force the DHCP request would be to put your computer back to DHCP and wait for the MAC address to appear. Once the MAC address appears in the unassigned tab, you can double click on the MAC address or select the add to configuration button. A pop-up window will appear and we will be able to type in the IP address as long as it's within the same subnet as our computer. Once the configuration is added to the new device, we need to select the Assigned tab. Within the Assigned tab, we need to check the box next to the temporarily assigned IP address and then press the Setup IP Configuration Mode button. This will launch a new pop-up window where we can then select Static from the drop-down menu. The Configuration tab shows all the devices that have been configured on that computer. And the Settings tab allows us to change the Network Interface card or the NIC if we have selected the improper NIC when the tool was launched. After we get through all of these steps, we can verify this has worked by launching Factory Talk Links. After the software opens, browse for the PLC, right click on the PLC, and select Device Configuration. In the configuration window, we can see that the PLC has a static IP address and that it has the same subnet that was assigned to our computer. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact your local ESE account manager or automation specialist.